Hello. Today in this session, we are going to see how to find out LCM and HCF of the given fractions. So as we have already discussed the trick that how we can find out LCM and HCF uh, of the given natural numbers in just few seconds. So if you have not seen that video, please refer our video on HCF and LCM trick that is going to be useful here. So now we will take one example that how we can find out the LCM and HCF of the given fractions. For example, this is one uh, example 2 by 3, 8 by 9, 16 by 81, 10 by 27. So if you want to find out the HCF of these fractions, so what you have to do? So HCF is of these fractions will be nothing but HCF of 2, 8, 16 and 10. You have to take the HCF of the numerators and you have to take the LCM of the denominators. So LCM of 3, 9, 81 and 27. So when you have to calculate the HCF of the fraction, in that you have to take the HCF of the numerators and LCM of the denominators. So we will find out the HCF of the denominator. So as we have already uh, seen the trick that how we can find out the HCF. So we will see the least difference among the given numbers. So that if here difference is 6, here difference is 8, here 6. The least difference here is 10 and 8 that is 2. So the least difference among the given numbers is 2. And we will see that whether 2 is divisor of all these numbers or not. So 2 is divisible by 2, 8 is also divisible by 2, 16 is also divisible by 2, 10 is also divisible by 2. So the HCF will be here nothing but 2. Divide by LCM of the given uh, that is the denominators. So LCM. So when we have to find out LCM, so as we have studied in the trick that will see the, the greatest number among these given numbers. So the greatest number here is 81. And then we will see that whether the uh, remaining numbers, whether the remaining numbers are the divisor of 81 or not. So 3 is a divisor of 81, yes, 9 is also divisor of 81 and 27 is also divisor of 81. So the LCM will be nothing but 81. So therefore the HCF of this given fraction will be nothing but 2 upon 81. Now, for example, you want to find out the LCM of these fractions, LCM. So what you have to do, take the LCM of the numerators, that is 2, 8, 16 and 10 and HCF of the denominator, that is 3, 9, 81 and 27. So again, we will take the LCM of the numerators. So in LCM, we see the, the greatest number among the given numbers. So the greatest number here is 16. Now we will see that whether the remaining numbers are the divisor of 16 or not. So 2 is a divisor of 16, 8 is also divisor of 16, but 10 is not a divisor of 16. Then what we do? We just multiply 16 into 2, that is 32. Now 32 is again divisible by 2 and 8, but not divisible by 10. Then we will go for next number, uh, 16 into 3 that is 48, again it will not be divisible by 10, we will go for the next number, 16 into 4, 64, 64 again is not divisible by 10, it is divisible by 2 and 8 but not divisible by 10, so we will go for next number, 16 into 5 that is 80, now 80 is divisible by 2, 8 as well as 10, so the LCM of these numbers will be nothing but 80, divide by, we will see the HCF of this number. So in HCF what we do here is we take the least difference among the numbers. So the difference here is 6. So it is 72. And so there is a big difference between these numbers. So the least difference here if you see uh, 3 and 9 that is 6. And other among other numbers the difference is bigger than 6. So the least difference here is 6. Now what we do here is we will uh, see whether 6 is divisor of all the numbers or not. So 6 is not the divisor of all the numbers here. So what we do here is again we will find the factors of 6 that is 3 into 2. Then first we will take 3. Now whether 3 is divisor of all these numbers, yes 3 is 
divisible by 3 9 is also divisible by 3 81 is also divisible by 3 27 is also divisible by 3 so the HCF of all these numbers will be nothing but 3 so the answer will be 80 divided by 3 so this is how we can find out the uh, LCM or HCF of the given fractions so when you have to find out HCF of the fraction what you have to do take the HCF of the numerator and LCM of the denominator and when you have to find out LCM of the fractions take the uh, LCM of the numerator and HCF of the denominator and how to find out HCF and LCM in just few seconds you can refer up earlier videos on LCM and HCF trick so hope you have understood to find out the LCM and HCF of the given fractions Hope it will be helpful for you. Thank you.